Teresa Wigan was sitting up in bed, holding her printout of Graf's letter, called to testify, which means putting him on exhibit as what? A hero? More likely a monster, since we already have various senators decrying the exploitation of children. That'll teach him to save the human race, said her husband, John Paul. This is not a time for flippancy. Teresa, be reasonable, said John Paul. I want Ender home as much as you do. No, you don't, said Teresa fiercely. You don't ache with the need for him every day. Even as she said it, she knew she was being unfair to him, and she covered her eyes and shook her head. To his credit, he understood and didn't argue with her about what he did and did not feel. You can never have the years they've taken, Teresa. He's not the boy we knew. Then we'll get to know the boy he is, here, in our home, surrounded by guards. That's the part I refuse to accept. Who would want to hurt him? John Paul set down the book he was no longer pretending to read. Teresa, you're the smartest person I know. He's a child. He won a war against incredibly superior forces. He fired off one weapon, which he did not design or deploy. He got that weapon into firing range. The Formics are gone. He's a hero. He's not in danger. All right, Teresa, he's a hero. How is he going to go to middle school? What eighth grade teacher is ready for him? What school dance is he going to be ready for? It will take time. But here with his family? Yes, we're such a warm, welcoming group of people. A love nest into which he'll fit so easily. We do love each other. Teresa, Colonel Graf is only trying to warn us that Ender isn't just our son. He's nobody else's son. You know who wants to kill our son. No, I don't. Every government that thinks of American military power as an obstacle to their plans. But Ender isn't going to be in the military. He's going to be... This week he won't be in the American military. Maybe. He won a war at the age of 12, Teresa. What makes you think he won't be drafted by our benevolent and democratic government the moment he gets back to Earth? Or put into protective custody? Maybe they'll let us go with him? And maybe they won't. Teresa let the tears flow down her cheeks. So you're saying that when he left here, we lost him forever? I'm saying that when your child goes off to war, you will never get him back. Not as he was. Not the same boy. Changed, if he comes back at all. So let me ask you. Do you want him to go where he's in the greatest danger? Or to stay where he's relatively safe? You think Graf is trying to get us to tell him to keep Ender with him out there in space. I think Graf cares what happens to Ender, and he's letting us know, without actually saying it, because every letter he sends can be used against him in court, that Ender is in terrible danger. Not ten minutes after Ender's victory, the Russians made their brutal play for control of the IF. Their soldiers killed thousands of fleet officers before the IF was able to force their surrender. What would they have done if they had won? Brought Ender home and put on a big parade for him? Teresa knew all of this. She had known it, viscerally at least, from the moment she read Graf's letter. No, she had known it even before. Had known it with a sick dread as soon as she heard that the Formic War was over. He would not be coming home.